한국의 맛, 부엉에 오신 것을 환영합니다. 지글지글 잘 익은 달콤하고 향긋한 갈비와 입맛도 끄는 감자탕. 신선한 밑반찬과 함께 다양한 메뉴들이 준비되어 있습니다. 언제든 한국 음식을 맛보고 싶을 땐 24시간 영업 중인 부엉이 레스토랑을 방문해 보세요. 소문난 토론토의 24시간 오픈 레스토랑 부엉이. 지금 가까운 지점을 찾아보세요. 2014 World Cup is taking place in Brazil this year and is now in the knockout stage, which is the second and final stage of the competition following the group stage. The group stage began on June 12th with a very exciting first match between Brazil and Croatia. On June 14th, the Group D match between Italy and England took place and Italy finished on top with an extra goal. Because we are in Little Italy in Toronto and it's absolutely fantastic. I got a, we've got our shirts. Good to go. We're serious Italian fans, so we're really rooting for Italy. I think it's amazing. It's amazing the atmosphere. Sport. Everyone's cheering. I love it. Everyone comes together. That's great. It's great. The Taste of Little Italy Festival was also held on the same day in downtown Toronto, which transformed College Street from Bathurst to Shaw into an Italian piazza. The Italian fans were able to celebrate the team's victory among lots of great food, music, and activities. On June 17th, a very close match in Group H took place between Russia and South Korea. Hundreds of Korean fans gathered at the Korean-Canadian Cultural Association, filled with hope and optimism for their team. In the second half of the game, Korea was able to score the first goal, which had Korean fans on the edge of their seats. The Korean goal was soon followed by a goal by Russia, and the game ended in a draw. On June 22nd, Korea faced Algeria and lost with a score of 2-4. The last of the group matches took place on June 26th, with Korea facing Belgium. Despite their efforts, Korea was unable to score, losing again with a score of 0-1. The World Cup highlights the multicultural fabric of Toronto as people take pride and cheer on for the roots and heritage.